for tonight's game. First for Franco and Kelly, Kai Baker, Lily Cobb, Eric Jones, CJ Seals, and Salem Smith. For East Hamilton, number five, Kyrish Willis, number 26, Donovan Moore, number 52, Isaac Ross, and number 68, Paul Chattery. won the toss and chosen to defer. Thank you for joining us here at the campus of East Hamilton High School inside of Larry Henry Stadium in Ottawa, Tennessee. The tension is in the air here. Both of these programs have something to prove tonight. The 0-2 Franklin County Rebels have made the trip to take on 1-1 East Hamilton's Hurricanes. We'll kick off in just minutes. I'm Gabriel Shry, and tonight I'll bring you all of the action between these two great programs. On the right-hand side of your screen, wearing the white road uniforms with the red and blue accents, 
That's Franklin County's Rebels. The Hurricanes back to receive this kickoff. Willis picks it up right up the middle. Oh, he's got a lane. Makes a man miss. Free across the midfield stripe, and he's gone. Touchdown, East Hamilton High School. Oh, baby. Stamp it on the highlight reel, print it off, and mail it to mom and dad. What a play. Oh my goodness, to open the game, it's 6 nothing. That took 13 seconds, and East Hamilton is out in front in their home venue. in the football here for the PAT. Ethan Hickson so efficient throughout his career with East Hamilton. Snap and hold are good. The PAT is up away and through, so it's 7 nothing here on the campus of East Hamilton, and Franklin County High School will get a shot with the football next. What a start for the Hurricanes. The return man on that play who took that to the house, number five, Willis. Willis has just had an exceptional career with East Hamilton High School. He had two pick sixes in week one against Hickson. And from a long way out, taking those to the house. One of them was 70 yards. Contributed a few tackles defensively and he's been a nightmare offensively as well, playing at receiver. Senior has been lauded in the media throughout the area and you can see why firsthand following that. to receive the kickoff for Franklin County as Eric Jones, Ethan Well, anyone joining us late, East Hamilton Ethan Hurricanes 1-1 one and one are playing West host West. to the Franklin County Rebels who are 0-2 in regular season. DSS AA football action. We're coming to you live from the very top of Hurricane Hill. 7-0 after the opening kickoff was returned for a touchdown by senior Kyrie Willis. Now Hickson will boot this back to the Rebels. Showing off the leg strength with the touchback. And Franklin County's offense will take over at the 20 yard line, first and 10. Rebels coming onto the field. They've scored 21 points this season, just three touchdowns, all of them passing touchdowns. They'll have to go 80 yards here if they want to score on this opening drive. They're averaging 167 offensive yards per game. Here's the snap, faking the give. He goes right side, following the tackle, and gets a nice gain of about three yards to open this drive. Let's take just a moment and meet the offense of Franklin County and the Rebels. It starts up front. Will Roberts, the left tackle tonight. Nathan, Meeker, Smith, and Francis rounding out the offensive line. Receivers are Baker, Cobb, Hardison, and Doherty. The quarterback, CJ Seals, and the running backs, Eric Jones, Dawson Sowers. Here's the snap, and trouble for the tailback. He gets a nice little gain of two yards on forward progress. Eric Jones, the senior, is just swarmed as he tries to take that inside. And so it'll make a third and medium for Franklin County. Franklin County, six rush yards on this opening drive, and that might not seem like much or worth noting at all, but they've averaged 28 rush yards per game through two games this season. Rebels, a power set here. The tailback takes the direct snap. Following that right tackle, he's got some room and dragged down 
A good stop by the defense of East Hamilton, but it's enough to move the chains for Eric Jones. First down, tackling the play by Logan Rock. It'll be first and ten for the Rebels at the 35 yard line. Football near the close hash mark for the offense of the Rebels. Hot start to game three of their season. Here comes Jones. Jones right at the middle, pounding it up in there, following the right guard, Smith, and able to get five more yards. A beautiful carry for the tailback. Taking those direct snaps, they like that look. He has 60 rush yards in two games, seven catches to go with that for 40 yards. Two touchdowns on the season. Second down and short, about four yards, maybe a little longer than that to go for Franklin. Motioning a man up front, that's Bowie up by the line of scrimmage. Here's Jones again, trying to go right side. Gets a couple of yards on forward progress, and so it'll be third and short now. We'll take just a moment and meet the defense of East Hamilton High School, starting up front where we first are introduced to Isaac Ross, then Drake, Townsend, and Locke. Linebackers and defensive backs, Ovale, Hinton, and Lithic. On the back, it's Willis, James, Maddox. Here's the snap again to Jones. He's coming close side. He's got some room on the edge across the 45. And he'll just step out to escape Willis as he coasts over the 40 down to the 37-yard line of East Hamilton High School. So on the close hash mark and stringing together a beautiful opening drive. Yet to throw the football. Couple of changes here offensively for Franklin County. In the shotgun, this is the senior Seals. He's thrown for nearly 300 yards through two games. Here's the snap, drops it, picks it back up, check down pass far side, complete a big shot delivered by the defensive back. Kai Baker able to hang onto the football a gain of about three yards for Franklin County as they go to the far hash mark. Up front, the guy I've been told to watch tonight defensively for East Hamilton is Isaac Ross, the senior, wearing number 52. He's playing off of the edge. Six tackles, one TFL through just two games this season. But even more importantly, he's been credited with 10 hurries on the quarterback. This is a guy that's bringing a lot of pressure on passers trying to stand in the pocket. He'll look to continue disrupting the pass game tonight. Two out wide for Seals and his offense. C.J. Seals wants to throw, ropes this right side, caught, beautiful delivery, and a big gain there of nearly 20 yards as Kai Baker takes the defender with him. He's up to 16 catches on the season now, entered tonight with 140 receiving yards. It'll be first down for the Rebels at the Hurricane 16-yard line. Few new players on offensively for Franklin County. Franklin County led along the sideline by Tracy Hayworth. Davis, the offensive coordinator. Flag inside there, we'll see what the call is. Well, the first start against the Rebels, that'll be five yards from the previous spot. Bring up first and So right away, Rebels going back. Tonight's officials, John Bow, the umpire linesman, Teak Gooden, Ricky Newbill, Steve Tompkins, Ed Garby, and Greg Sherman. Steve Tompkins is the white cap tonight. He's standing on the right side of your screen behind the offense. Here they go, right side, following that big right tackle, and he'll get back to the original line of scrimmage to make it second and 10. They're into the red zone. Franklin County threatening to score, and with just three touchdowns all season through two games, they would love to punch this in right now. For the Rebels. Usual man at right tackle is Lane Pearson. He's out tonight, hopefully at home and resting, and we hope you're tuned in and doing well. 
in his spot is C.J. Francis, who usually plays left tackle. Something to watch as they run the football to the right side of the line. How successful is Francis switching from that pass blocking side over to the far right? It's trips left. That's the close side of your screen. One man on the top. Seals wants to throw, delivers it close side, and that looks like it might have been an interception. The linesman says no. That was very close. A beautiful play by the defensive back, diving for the football. And Seals will take that all day long. Here comes the referee. Holding is the call against Franklin County. They'll bring up second and 21. Rebels have played two very competitive games. Standing at 0-2 on the season. They're driving here, trailing 7-0, 6.5 left to go in this first stanza. Two receivers on either side. Here's the snap, wants to throw, pressure is coming and able to escape, the check down is complete. So it'll make third down a bit more manageable. Franklin County still needs about 15 yards if they want to move the chains. Long yardage situation here on third down for Franklin County. Officials timeout. Timeout down on the field, called for by the officials. We have a player come off on the close sideline for East Hamilton. And now both teams will go ahead and take a break. We'll take a break as well and be back with more high school football in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. of East Hamilton High School where it's currently 4-7-0, excuse me, the lead with the Hurricanes. Here come the Rebels, it's third and long. Pass close side, caught, it's the tailback Jones. That puts them inside of the 10, but shy of the line to gain. So it'll be fourth down, a short yardage situation for Franklin Since County. Jones. And it's decision time. It looks like their special teams unit is coming onto the turf. Here on top of Hurricane Hill, Canes leading the Rebels. A power set. Fourth down, Jones right up the gut, trying to push the defense. He stopped on top of the 10. That's a turnover on downs as the Hurricanes will get the football back. And so, believe it or not, we have not yet had the chance to meet the Hurricanes of East Hamilton offensively, even though they lead 7-0. It was a 90-yard kick return 
for a touchdown by the receiver, Kyrie Willis. Up front, it's Smith, Blair, Gilbert, Wright, Townsend. Liffick is the tight end. Hinton, Willis, Miller, and Locke all catch passes. The tailbacks are Hinton and Maddox. Trey Crawford is distributing the football from the shotgun. First and 10, East Hamilton's offense onto the field. Two on either side for the Canes. They're on the close hash mark. Pressure is coming. Crawford. Rainbow ball wide open across the 45. He's free again. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? House call. Touchdown, East Hamilton. Oh, this kid is nuts. That's unbelievable. Touchdown, East Hamilton High School. Vansell Hinton, his 10th catch of the season. It's a choo-choo car wash touchdown. And what a dramatic addition to his stats. Now 237 receiving yards in just three games, and we're not even done with tonight. We're still in the first quarter. His third touchdown on the year. He's also thrown one a 60-yarder. This is his first year really being super involved with the offense and to see him coming out so strong in the first three games is just impressive. PAT up away and through and so it's 14-0 here at the campus of East Hamilton High School. We'll take a short break and be back with more high school football. Don't you go anywhere. on the campus of East Hamilton High School where it's 14-0 Canes. What a hot start for East Hamilton. It's their third game of the year. They're 1-1, one 0-2 one, oh Franklin County Rebels on the road visiting Ottawa, Tennessee to battle them in TWS AA regular season action here on top of Hurricane Hill inside of Larry Henry Stadium. What a job and effort by East Hamilton. Just two plays run. One was a kick return. Does that even count as a play? And then a passing touchdown, 90 yards, taken to the house by Hinton. Kickoff is away. Return man, headed far side, in some danger, and he'll go down. First and 10, Rebels will take over at their own 15-yard line on the far hash mark. So one thing that I think is important to note, for Rebel fans especially, you got to feel good about how much yardage was gobbled up by the offense on that first drive. A team that's averaging 167 yards offensively a game to come out and just gobble up all that yardage right away. I mean, that was about 70 yards to open tonight's game. That has to feel good. You have to feel really good about that positive, even though you're trailing early. And that's what the coach, I'm sure, is saying. Coach Davis says, hey, listen, we have to capitalize on that. We just moved the football really well. This is working for us against a great defense. Let's do that again and finish it. A couple of changes here for East Hamilton. Here's the give. Jones pushing his way up in there. Nice gain and about four yards, maybe five, makes it second and medium. Four minutes left to go in this first quarter. 14-0 East Hamilton, Rebels with the football. Far hash mark, three receivers, two on the far side. 
Jones steps up alongside Seals. The up back moves inside as well. He's going to block for Jones, who has the give, and he is swarmed by that defensive front. Drake and Townsend right in there, and Isaac Ross showing off why he's the man to watch tonight. Third and medium, Franklin County. Two receivers either side. Jones is alongside the signal caller from the gun. Seals. Oh, he's going to loft this far side. Football is up for grabs, and this one looks incomplete. It is indeed, the official says, that one hits the grass. Great ball delivered by Seals right there. That was a catchable ball. The receiver had the height and athleticism to get up to it. Just couldn't quite make the play. And so now it's a fourth and medium situation and decision time for Franklin County, who's trailing 14-0 with three minutes left in the first. Not much of a decision. You have to punt it here. And this one a fair catch right on the midfield stripe for Mr. Dangerous, the returner. Football officially on the 49-yard line of Franklin County. Kick return for a touchdown, opened the game tonight, made it 7-0. It remained that score as the Rebels drove the entire length of the field nearly, turned it over deep in the red zone. East Hamilton's first offensive play was a 90-yard touchdown. Here's a check down to the far side. This one a nice gain, nearly 10 yards. Boy, the far side official is at the line to gain, and he might give it to him. He will. The chains. Nope, I've lied. It's second down and short, one yard. Comes up about a yard short of the first down. It'll bring up second and one. Football on the far hash mark, one yard to gain for the Hurricanes. Two receivers close side. Crawford looking straight ahead. Wants to throw the football. Check down is complete. Close side to Hinton. He's got a convoy. He's gone. Touchdown, East Hamilton High School. They're stacking it up early. It's 20 0. Two and a half left to go in this first stanza. Von Zell Hinton just adding to those big totals. And he's got nearly 300 yards receiving this season already. We're not even halfway through the third game of the year. He's having an incredible year. East Hamilton on for the point after try. Little swinging gate action right here, and it doesn't work out for him. It'll remain 20 to nothing. Two and a half minutes left to go in this first quarter here on the campus of East Hamilton High School. Thank you for being with us for our live telecast online. We'll be back with more high school football action after this choo-choo touchdown break in just a moment.
perched on top of Hurricane Hill inside of Larry Henry Stadium. The 1-1 one one East Hamilton Hurricanes playing host to the 0-2 Franklin County Rebels. East Hamilton is off to a hot start, off to the races and running. They lead 20-0 with two and a half left to go in this first quarter, and here's the kickoff. Touchback for Ethan Hickson. Ethan Hickson has been such a key contributor over the last few seasons in the special teams game for East Hamilton High School. Such a fantastic athlete. First touchdown was on the opening kickoff. Willis took it to the house, 90 yards. The second touchdown was a 90-yard touchdown pass to Von Zell Hinton. He just caught another from 40 yards out moments ago before the break. Seals, checks down, far side, bobbled and dropped. Couldn't quite hang on to the football. Leading receiver on the team can't feel too bad about dropping that football right there. Really bright spot for this offense, something they're going to look to build on throughout the course of the season. The Rebels have completed nearly 55% of all passes in their first two games and looking to continue that trend tonight against the Hurricanes. Here's the snap, give far side. Jones following that right tackle. He's got some room and forced out right near the line to gain. Looks like they're going to have him over the 30, and that'll move the chains for a Rebels first and 10. Twenty-nothing. Franklin County would love to drive down and punch in a touchdown here and try to slow the momentum. East Hamilton has that offense. You know, that's where Aaron Nance, the new head coach of the Hurricanes, came from. He was the offensive coordinator in Flowery Branch, Georgia, and had a lot of success offensively there, an offense that put together a ton of yardage. It was like a college team. You can see why. Now here's Jones, who's gallivanting far side and forced out of play by Willis on the back. A big-time gain right there and a drastic shift of the chains. That moves the football all the way down deep into Hurricane territory to the 42-yard line. Football coaching staff of the Hurricanes led by Aaron Nance, supported by assistant head coach David Berger. Nance in his first year at the helm, following that successful stint in Flowery Branch. David Barger, assistant head coach, is the defensive coordinator. We'll see what he draws up here. Big number 12 takes that right at the gut. Ethan Ferris, the senior. That's his second carry on the season. Had one. Seven yards rushing on the season following that. Under 90 seconds to go in this first quarter. Rebels send two receivers far side. They've got one man split out on the close side. Here's the give, trying to follow that left tackle and nothing doing as the Hurricanes are all over him. They're trying to say they have the football. Piling up, looking for it. Meeker is digging away at the pile. Officials, John Bowe trying to pull him off there. And Hurricanes say they've got the football. Looks like the officials are going to give it to him. There you go. The referee signals East Hamilton High School will take over with the football on their own 35-yard line. And so when you're dealing with an offense that's clicking like that, that's humming, that's doing so many things so well, trailing early, that's a huge momentum play. That's a big blow when the defense can create a turnover and give the football back to such a punishing offense. East Hamilton is gonna to look to put some gas onto the fire here. They lead 20 to nothing. 60 seconds exactly left in quarter number one. 
here at East Hamilton High School. Trips left, that's the far side. Willis in motion, check down to him from Crawford. He tries to make the move in the backfield to stay alive. He'll go down for a short loss or maybe get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and long now for East Hamilton High School. Offensively, East Hamilton, they've scored 63 total points coming into tonight. That's an average of just about 32 per game, four and a half touchdowns per game. They're also averaging 371 yards per game on offense. That's unbelievable for the high school level, for this area, for the competition they face. Four receivers, two on either side. There's the tailback. He's in danger, swarmed, and he'll go down. Great play up front, Smith and Mac Roberts busting up the side of the line, getting in there. Grayson Maddox had nowhere to go, tried to trust in that offensive line, and they just couldn't dig him out. Speaking of that offensive line, anchored right in the center of it. First of all, this offensive line for East Hamilton next year is going to be incredible. I'll tell you more about that, what to expect out of them next year, and who anchors them up front when we come back from this short break. More high school football in a moment at East Hamilton High School where it's 20 nothing. here inside of Larry Henry Stadium where it's 20 to nothing. Oh, the bird's in here. What's up, bird? What is the... What is the bird? Ibis? I always forget that. I always forget Otis the Ibis. Otis the Ibis is here with us. And they can't... Birds can't talk, so Otis is not going to get on air. But we appreciate you joining us, Otis. And thank you for pumping up the Hurricanes. 20 to nothing, entering quarter number two. Otis the Ibis is in the house, and East Hamilton's offense back onto the field. They'll work from the close hash mark. They were as hot as you can be offensively in that first quarter. Kick return for a touchdown to open the game, a 90-yard passing score, a 40-yard passing score. This is Crawford, who's in danger and dropped near the original line of scrimmage. Big play by the senior, Zalen Smith. Ten tackles this season through two games, one TFL, and just about had another right there. He's going to be dangerous all year long for Franklin County. That defense getting a crucial stop to open quarter two. That's going to keep them in this football game. Punt unit on the field for East Hamilton High School. Thanks for being with us here tonight. I'm Gabriel Fry. 30 seconds gone in this second stanza. Snaps good, punts away. Great delivery by Hickson and takes a hurricane friendly bounce on the 30 before skittering and sputtering out of play. Just shy of the 20. First and ten, Franklin County coming back onto the field offensively. Led by that signal caller, CJ Seals, the senior. Six foot tall, 170 pounds, 29 for 52, 279 yardage. Through two games, three passing touchdowns this season entering tonight. He's been responsible for every single touchdown this offense has scored this season. He'll look to orchestrate more success on this drive as we close in on our halftime break. Here's the snap, give far side. Jones following that left tackle, got some space, beats the second level out across the midfield, strike the 40 and drag down on the back end by the Hurricanes. East Hamilton refusing to give up defensively. There is a flag on that far sideline. They're gonna take just a moment to sort that out. Big time catch and run. Tailback coming out of the backfield. He's face masked on the back end. And so Eric Jones 
takes that football from the 25. All the way down to the 27 yard line. And the penalty is going to push them to the 17. One minute gone in quarter two. Franklin County. Right up inside. Oh, he's got room. Chugging for the end zone and tackled just before he reaches that sweet painted area. First and goal now for Franklin County. Football is on the four yard line. Two receivers either side, bunch set. Here's the snap from under center. Jones takes it himself, flipped end over end. And he gets a gain of a little more than a yard. It'll be second and goal. Great job inside by the defense of East Hamilton. O'Valley, Mike Hinton coming together. The senior and the junior linebacker stuffing that inside. Of course, they're set up up front. C.J. Drake, defensive tackle. The guy is so heavy, and he's able to plug things up in there, create the space for the linebackers to come in behind him and stop that play from unfolding. Rebels get another try with it. This time, right side, and boy, I think they kept him out again. It'll be third and goal from the one-yard line. Tough running here, and Eric Jones just trying to force the football into the end zone. Getting a lot of help up front. Meeker and Smith were trying to push that defensive line out of the way, but they've just been so successful this season already. Franklin County going to take another stab at it. Seals under center. Here's the snap. Giving off Jones. Diving for the end zone. This time he'll find his way in for the touchdown. It's 20-6. to six. The Rebels of Franklin County get one back. Off of the legs of Eric Jones, his first touchdown on the season. Eric Jones entering tonight, 24 carries, 60 rush yards in two games. Had seven catches for 38 yards and two touchdowns. Now he can add a rushing touchdown to his resume for 2023. Snap and hold are good. The PAT is up, away, and through. It's 20-7, to a 13-point football game here at Larry Henry Stadium. We'll be back with more high school football. Don't go anywhere. on top of Hurricane Hill. It's 20 to seven, Franklin County's Rebels stayed alive, staying in this football game with a rushing touchdown just a moment ago. Willis fielding the kickoff and in trouble, he's taken down. Back on the 15 yard line of East Hamilton, so they'll have to drive 85 yards if they wanna score on this one. Nine minutes left in this first half. Thanks for being with us. Willis is returning out to the 15-yard line where the Hurricanes will take over. Willis is somebody we're going to be spotlighting all year long. I can already tell. Of course, you come into a game like this as the announcer, and you've got him circled, the big red marker. But as far as it goes for tonight, you know, that, that kick return for a touchdown to open the game is big-time stuff. 
and you can't it's not fair to expect plays like that out of a high school athlete but it's kind of becoming normal for him here's the give a big shot delivered right inside nice looking tackle right up front hit and couldn't get away Reynolds broke into the backfield tackled him for a loss Three receivers split out wide, close side for East Hamilton. Hurricanes quarterback. Looking to the right, there's the give. Tail back, hit and close side. Runs over the defender, and they spill forward right near the line to gain, which is the 26. They're going to give it to him. First and 10, East Hamilton. Chains will move. Hinton runs down the defensive back. The strong safety, Kai Baker, came up to greet him right up there. And the senior couldn't slow him down. He will get the tackle, his second on the year. Two receivers, far side, one close side for East Hamilton. Crawford, play call is in. Shouting out to Gilbert, the center up front. There's the give, tail back in trouble, throws the stiff arm, stays on his feet. A nice spin move to turn no gain into about two yards. Up front, this offensive line, five juniors. That's going to be incredible next year. That level of experience at the prep level to have five seniors is going to be a big deal for East Hamilton High School. And it's anchored right inside by Andrew Gilbert. Gilbert, great measurables, a big athlete, being recruited by Eastern Kentucky, several Division I looks, tons of Division II. He's going to be a great prospect blocking. Here's a check down to the far side. Willis along the sideline, stretching this out. Oh, he gets a big gain, 20 plus yards. East Hamilton right near the midfield stripe. Burning some clock on this drive. They've used nearly two minutes. Took over at their own 15 yard line. They've gone 33 yards on the far hash mark now. Two receivers on the close side. Crawford in the shotgun. It's somebody you watched practice. You knew he was going to be special. Here's Hinton close side, slipping off of defenders. They just can't get a grip on him. Entering tonight, 33 carries, 227 yards for Hinton. One rush touchdown on the season. Entering the home opener for East Hamilton High School. East Hamilton, the Hurricanes always put on such a great show here on the campus. East Hamilton High School, Udawa, Tennessee. Lots of fun. Be sure to get your tickets. Come out and join us. You can be here in person with us. Check down pass. Far side. Caught. And a lot of room. Makes one man miss. Across the 30. Tackle down. Just outside of the red zone. First and 10. East Hamilton Hurricanes. 25 more yards for the Canes. Big time play right there. It's first and ten. East Hamilton still on that far hash mark. Crowd is getting into it here. Hurricanes have been driving with a football for over three minutes. Four receivers out wide, two on either side. Wants to throw, pressure coming, rolling close side. Check down pass, lofted to Willis. Lots of room, slows it up at the five. It'll be first and goal for the Hurricanes. Willis continues his electric campaign with another catch and run there on the little dump pass. Lewis will be split out on the far side here. Crawford in the shotgun. There's the give to Hinton, seeking his second touchdown of the season. 
it'll be second and goals. He's trapped up by the defense. I think he might have broken through there, but the linebacker, B.J. Bowie, got a hold of him, grabbed his hips and wouldn't let go of him. He's got five tackles this season, one TFL. Couldn't get him for the loss, but able to stop him from reaching the end zone. Hurricanes have had possession of the football for over five minutes now. Hinton motions inside. Crawford fakes the handoff. Check down pass. Von Zell Hinton. He's into the end zone. 26 to 7, 445. Left in quarter number two. Hinton has scored three touchdowns in the first half of tonight's contest. That's just unbelievable. I was keeping track of where he was on yardage, and it's just too much. He's got a lot of yards. He's doing very well, if you're wondering. Canes for the point after try. Snap is good. Hickson able to get this away in the face of great pressure. A true pro as always. Ethan Hickson makes it a 27-7, 20-point football game. The advantage of the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School. We'll be back in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. Tennessee. All Hurricanes all night. They just punched it in for their fourth touchdown. It capped off a five minute, 10 second, 85 yard drive. It was a check down pass to Von Zell Hinton, who has three touchdowns tonight. All three offensive touchdowns. Tonight's game opened up with a 90 yard kick return for a touchdown by Kyrese Willis. That's so special to have a guy that's creating touchdowns defensively on special teams. It takes a lot of pressure off an offense. Here's the kickoff. Deep for the touchback. Hicks is just racking up the touchbacks. Franklin County's Rebels scored on their last drive. It was big time, going the length of the field. Eric Jones, his first rushing touchdown of the season. He has three on the year, two receiving. And it was the first rushing touchdown of the season for the Rebels. 28 points scored through two and about two and a half games. This offense is looking a lot better tonight. They're clicking, they're getting yardage. They just have to cap off those drives. First and 10. We'll need to go 80 on this drive if they want to score. First play goes far side, and the left tackle just can't buy him the space he needs. Second and 11 now for Franklin County. And in motion. Going to the back side is Cobb. Wants to throw, lets one go over the middle, incomplete. Off of the fingertips of Jones. I did think he was gonna catch that for just a moment, just couldn't quite hook that in. It goes incomplete, it's a third and long situation for Franklin. Fish eating crew tonight doing a great job keeping things on the rails. 
Not throwing a bunch of flags. Letting them play. I've seen this crew before, but I can't figure out where. They didn't know either. We were trying to figure it out before the game. Three receivers, two close side. Here's one over the middle, caught by Cobb. Cobb makes one man miss and tackled down on the far side. And that'll move the chains for Franklin County. Great play offensively by Cobb. Hit the e-brake, found himself wide open, able to hang on to the football. Great delivery by C.J. Seals as well, able to look off the defenders. Goes back to Cobb, delivers it right where he needed it to catch that football perfectly in sync. That moves the chains. That was a gain of a little more than 12 yards. Makes it first and 10. Closing in on the need to run the two minute drill here as we've only got three minutes left to go in this first half. The end around, back to Cobb. Cobb gets to the 35, a gain of three. Second and a long medium. Now on the close hash marks. Second down, a long seven. Four receivers. Seals calls Jones to his side. He wants to throw. Pressure is coming. Delivered far side. Tips nearly intercepted. Through the hands of Kai Baker, swatted at by Hinton. Football falls harmlessly incomplete. Through the turf grass, it's third down. Two minutes and change left to go in this first half. It's 27 to seven. Hurricanes leading in their home venue over the visiting Franklin County Rebels. Regular season TSS double A action. I'm Gabriel Fry. Thanks for being with us. A 20 point football game. The Rebels looking to hang around, keep themselves in position to strike back. They're gonna try to run the two minute drill here if they can convert. Four options again for Seals. Tail back alongside him. He wants to sling it. Pressure is coming. Avoids one. Climbing the ladder. Check down pass. Incomplete. Had to throw that quickly. A bad read. Looking for Hardison and just couldn't quite hook up. And so that'll bring up fourth and long. Rebels will punt the football away. The Rebels, Willis. Kyrie Willis, the returner, had a 90 yard kick return for a touchdown to open tonight's game. He fields this for a fair catch on the 37, first and 10, East Hamilton High School. And so a moment ago I said, I think we might see Franklin County, if they convert, try to run the two minute drill here with one minute and 58 seconds in quarter two. The Hurricanes may indeed run the two minute drill and I'm inclined to think they will do so as Aaron Nance is an offensive guy, racked up 3,500 yards last season as the offensive coordinator at Flowery Branch, now the guy at the helm of the Hurricanes. Three receivers, Hinton is the man on the back. Top of your screen. Crawford gives it off. Michael Hinton right up the gut, a gain of two on forward progress. Linemen and linebackers swarming him. Roberts, Mac Roberts, the junior, gets a hold of him. Eric Jones swarming him. 
just too much. They hang on to him long enough for two more defenders to reach the pile. Now it's second and eight, a check down to the close side to Willis. Three defenders there, a flag hits the turf as he reverses fields and goes down. It's a gain of a yard. We'll see what the flag is. That's definitely in the area of holding. 90 seconds to play with. Tracy Hayworth talking to the official. Here's the call. It's holding against East Hamilton High School. And so that'll make it second and very long. Just about 20 yards, maybe 18. Tracy Hayworth, first class, big fan of the coaching staff of this Franklin County program. Very friendly guy. Trips left, East Hamilton. There's the give, tailback, pinballs off one defender, then wrapped and dropped. Gets a yard, maybe two back. 75 seconds to play with. A yard or two. It'll bring up third and 16 for the Hurricanes. Play call coming in from the sideline. Aaron Nance delivering this to the offense. Von Zell hitting the close receiver. Willis on the far side. All the way out is Logan Locke, the senior. Linebackers shifting here. They're showing blitz, they're not bringing it. Here's the give to the tailback. Takes it right side, following that big right tackle, trying to spin away. Got about four yards, it'll make it fourth and long for East Hamilton with 27 seconds left in this first half. Timeout taken on the field by Franklin County. Rebels want the football back. Clock has stopped showing 26 and a half seconds. Steve Tompkins, John Bow talking over the football as the Hurricanes and Rebels come back out onto the field. Clock reset to 28 and a half seconds. A 20 point football game. Rebels are trailing 27 to seven to the Hurricanes. Here's the snap, back to Hickson. Boots this one, skying close side and takes a neutral bounce as it skeeters off the close sideline. 22 seconds to work with for Franklin County. We'll see what they do with it. Coach Jones, the defensive coordinator for East Hamilton High School, just beloved by students, staff here on the campus of East Hamilton, and I'm a big fan as well. Great guy. It's his time to shine with a play call. That's one thing that's always been so great at East Hamilton High School, and it transitioned during the offseason with coaching staffs, it seems like. Just great play design, great play calling. They know when to run it, how to run it. At the high school level, having really good play design is difficult. Franklin County, four options or the signal caller. Seals sends one man into motion. He's looking, pressure is coming, delivers this, a strike to the close side, it's caught over the midfield stripe. A gain of more than 20 for Jones and the clock stops with 16.2 seconds showing in quarter two. Franklin County hurrying to the line. The first down for the Rebels at the Hurricanes 47 yard line. 
Tompkins calling for the clock to run. 14 seconds now. Rebels rushing to the line and timeout taken down on the field. Timeout, Franklin County. Their second of the half. Franklin County Rebels take their second timeout. They've got one left. They've got the football after that 20 yard gain. Up to the 47 yard line of East Hamilton High School. Dramatic way to start this final drive of the half. Call the timeout after East Hamilton just tried to burn out the clock. Both teams taking full advantage of their time breaking together along the sideline. A couple of Hurricane alum interactive on Twitter tonight. Shout out to Lake Clark, Juan Bullard. Both great football players. Hope they're doing well. I know they're both, they've both moved on to play at the collegiate level. Four out wide, quarterback in the shotgun. This is Seals. Pressure is coming, escapes the defender. He's tripped up and goes down. That's a sack. And he's all fired up. That's Ross who gets the big play. Isaac Ross, I mentioned it during the pregame. I mentioned it when we met that defense for the first time tonight. He's got 10 quarterback hurries coming into the game and you can see it right there. Pays off for him. He gets a little hand on the shoelace, on the cleats. Seals goes down, and Franklin County has to burn their final timeout with four and a half seconds showing on the clock. 4.3 to be exact in a 20-point football game as we wind towards the half. And I'm assuming that the Rebels are going to consider digging deep into their bag of tricks here on this last play. It'll be interesting to see what the philosophy is. Davis and Hayworth cooking something up. It's second and 14, but it doesn't matter. It's the final play of the first half in Larry Henry Stadium, barring any weirdness or flags, that is, on the end of the play. Onto the field, Hurricanes, a prevent look. Seals in the shotgun. They've got that same formation. Ethan Ferris at his side. CJ Seals, here comes the pressure. Climbing the ladder, wants to throw. Heaves this for the end zone. The horn sounds and it's picked off. Hurricanes got the football, still fighting for it and it pops out as they tussle on the ground. I don't think they'll give him the pick on that, but it's of no consequence. That's the end of the first half in a 20-point football game. It's 27-7 to between the Hurricanes and the Rebels on our telecast. Don't go anywhere. We'll take a short break. Be back with some halftime analysis and more high school football, Hurricane TV.
and seven.
to the campus of East Hamilton High School, just a couple of minutes away from kickoff for quarter number three between the Hurricanes of East Hamilton and Franklin County's Rebels. Franklin County entering tonight 0-2 on the season. East Hamilton 1-1 after a tough loss last week here inside of Larry Henry. They lead now by 20, 27 to seven, entering quarter three. We'll look to see if they can extend that lead or if things change drastically as quarter three gets started and wears on. Taking a look around the area at a few area scores. Lipscomb leading the Saints. 45 seconds left in the half, Briar Crest football. Baylor School leading 23-13 right now. Maryville just booted through a field goal. Bradley Central Bears lead 21-6 with 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Hickson football just booted a 40-yard field goal. It went wide left. Udawat football has the ball at their own 23-yard line. Big upset brewing in Northwest Georgia. Ridgeland leading North Murray 28-22 as they close in on the half. Lots of great action around the area. Those are just some of the updates. Our game coming back in just a moment here between East Hamilton High School and the Rebels of Franklin County. We'll take a break and be right back in just a moment with more high school football. of Hurricane Hill. It's 27 to 7, a 20 point football game. The Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School are out in front leading the Rebels of Franklin County. Following the halftime break, we're entering quarter number three and the Rebels will get a chance to work with the football first. We'll see what they can do with it. A great first half for Franklin County. I'm sure that the score line makes you think it was not good, but lots of yardage gobbled up on those long drives, and that's exactly what you need to be working on in that offense. Is we have to get in position to score, then we have to finish those scoring drives. Well, they're certainly getting in position to score now. A good look for them. A lot of yardage in those first two quarters. They'll look to replicate that success here entering quarter three. And we'll see what kind of play design they bring to the table as well after getting some whiteboard time with their whole team. Hickson and the Hurricanes will punt the football back on kickoff. Booming kick here for the Hurricanes. It's a touchback. That kid has just always had a leg. Yeah. 
I'm going to turn the light on here. I'm turning the light off here. You can see our reflection on the broadcast. I'm turning the light back off. First and ten to start the third quarter. It's the Rebels of Franklin County from their own 20-yard line after the touchback. Two options on the close side for the signal caller. Here's the snap, gives it off. Left side following that left guard and dragged down by his ankles. A beautiful run, had a lane, showed off his burst. Jones continues his nice night carrying the football. Got his first rushing touchdown of the year from a few yards out earlier tonight. The lone touchdown scored by Franklin County's Rebels. He's got three on the season, and two receiving touchdowns entering this game. First touchdown on the year that Seals hasn't been responsible for. Very similar formation here on second and short. They flipped sides, and again, Jones will take the football. Following that left tackle, he's dragged That's down right away. Not after about a three-yard gain by Michael Hinton. Hinton's credited with a tackle by the public address announcer. That's Roberts, Nathan Goshi up front, clearing space for him on the left side of that line, trying to push the defensive line back inside, keep the linebackers off, and able to do so to the tune of a few yards. That'll move the chains. It's a 20-point football game, Rebels. Just over one minute into this drive. Baker and Cobb, the close receivers. Seals wants Cobb. He's got him. Nearly takes a shot as he steps out of play in the face of Von Zell Hinton. 90 seconds gone in quarter number three. Hurricane home crowd making some noise. Second and short for Franklin County. Same receivers on the close side. This time Jones will carry and defenders in the backfield force him to dive. He gets back right near the line to gain. They'll move the chains. Short one yard gain for him. Diving and able to move things. Franklin County looking good coming out of the locker room to open half two. Same receivers on the close side. This time it's a pitch to the tailback. Trying to follow the lead of that right tackle who buys him about four yards. Zalen Smith, the guard, pulled, laid down a beautiful block. There's a flag on the 46-yard line, and it's going to be a chop block against Franklin County. Rebels have already had the football for two minutes in this second half. It's now first and about 20. 2 receivers on either side. Quarterback in the shotgun. Makes the give, wants to throw. Pressure is coming. He's in danger. Grabbed up by his jersey. It's Isaac Ross. His second sack of the night and the season. 
Ross entering tonight, spotlighted him during the pregame when we introduced the starters on defense. He's somebody I honed in on and said, this guy has been pressuring the quarterback in the Hurricanes' first two games. Watch him. You're watching him tonight. You're watching him right now. Second sack of the game. Looking good defensively for East Hamilton. And to get a defensive end off the edge like that helps out the rest of your defense so much. When you've got a guy who's making the signal caller nervous, when he's trying to scan downfield and he has to be more alert of what's happening near him rather than upfield, makes things a lot easier. Trips on the close side for Seals. Beautiful ball, delivered to Cobb. Cobb with a masterful cut across the midfield stripe. Makes the man miss. Skims over the 40 and steps out of play down near the 30-yard line. What a gain for the Franklin County Rebels right there. That's almost 50 yards on the catch and run by Willie Cobb. But he's first out of bounds. Three minutes, 27 seconds on this drive for Franklin County. Whiteboard time might be paying off in real time for the Rebels. Trips on the close side. Come on, dude. And here's the tailback, close side, and unable to break away from the defense. A great carry by Ferris. Twenty-point football game. Second and medium. Rebels from the 24-yard line of East Hamilton. They're running four receivers in this package. Jones, the tailback, is in motion. He'll block for Ferris, and it's a good block. Ferris gets a gain there. A few yards just on the edge of the red zone. Again, that's a really good look on the play design. Pulling Eric Jones into motion. He was split out wide and trips right in between the two receivers. Comes across, stands as an up back, and then blocks out. Blocks the defender off the edge for East Hamilton. Two linemen are able to set down some space. Tailback gets a nice little gain. It's third and short. This is Jones, and he's going nowhere. Tackled down, dropped hard behind the line. What a play by East Hamilton High School. Swarmed by three defenders, leading the way with Zane Liffick, who's going to get the credit on this one. Right behind him, O'Valley and Isaac Ross. It seems like Ross is in on everything tonight. It's fourth and medium. Trips right, similar formation. What we saw Jones block on, and they're motioning him inside again. There it is. This time he's gonna take the check down on the fake and just can't hang on to the football. Well, the fake got me. That was, that was again, great play design. Bringing him in on the exact same formation, making it look like he was gonna block as an up back, and instead the check down pass to him. Just couldn't get a hold of the football. That's a turnover on downs, and we'll see the Hurricanes offense for the first time in this second half. That was a long possession for the Rebels. They held the football for six minutes and nine seconds. Yeah. 
drove down the field. To the tune of 55 yards. Here's the give, Hurricanes coming close side. Lots of room across the 40, midfield stripe, and he's dragged down as he reaches to the 42 yard line of Franklin County. They'll spot him at the 40. A flag back near the midfield stripe. We'll see what the referee has to stay. And this is going to be against the Hurricanes. It's a hold. Wipes away what would have been a 35-yard rush. And after the penalty, it'll be an armored stairs. First down, Hurricanes. 542 left in quarter three. Canes leading by 20. 27 to 7. From the close hash mark now. Crawford in the shotgun. Gives it again. This time the tailback is in trouble and dropped for a loss. That's a big time play by the defense. Great read. There's a flag after the play. Two of them. A little bit going on on the back end. Bo, the umpire, throwing the flag. It looks like the close linesman may have flagged that play as well. They're both speaking with the official now, the referee. Trying to sort out some sort of conflict here involving East Hamilton offensive linemen. I didn't see what happened. I saw he was caught up. Offsetting penalties. Personal foul on both teams, and they're signaling again. Dead ball personal foul on each team with an ejection of an East Hamilton player. And it'll bring up second and ten for the Hurricanes. They have ejected a Hurricane lineman, the junior. Referee still speaking on the sideline with the coaching staff of East Hamilton. Will they get this sorted out? We're going to sort some things out ourselves and take a break. High school football will be right back.
back here on Hurricane Hill where we're in park with 526 to go in quarter three. An ejection from the game on the home team sideline after offsetting penalties. There was a skirmish on the back end of the play. Referee trying to tie things up with that close sideline. Hurricanes offense back onto the field. Udawa just got a safety. They lead 21-16 over Hickson. Bradley Central playing great defense. They're still on top in their football game. Well, we were due for something uh, with the officials because they just were not flagging anyone all night long. They've done a really, really, really good job tonight of staying out of it, calling anything out of line, keeping the game on the rails. Here's the give, far side, tailback. Had a lot of room initially, tried to cut it back up in there, didn't like what he saw on the outside, and gets a gain of three, maybe four. Third and six for the Hurricanes. Medium yardage situation for the offense of East Hamilton High School. Crawford is alone in the backfield. He's got five options at receiver. Running back is alone on the close sideline, Hinton. Here's the snap. Crawford wants to throw. He's going to throw the rainbow ball far side incomplete. Just beyond the reach of Kyrie's Willis. Willie Cobb was hot on his tail. He somehow got away from him, and the speedsters were running free down towards the opposing 30 sideline. It goes incomplete and brings up fourth and six. Flag on the play. Here's our referee again. This time it's against East Hamilton. An ineligible receiver down the field. Keynes Hickson will punt the football back to the Rebels. It's a 20-point football game. A six-minute possession by Franklin County. A three and out. Marred and stalled by offsetting personal fouls. Hurricanes punt the football away. The Rebels now have a chance to get back to work offensively. Offense of Franklin County taking over at the 27. Close hash mark. Three options for that signal caller on this first play. Last time they had the football for six minutes. Jones is the tailback. He's going to take the football. Headed left side. Cuts it back up right in the middle and a flag at the end of that play. A five-yard gain. Hurricanes are saying they've got the football. Referee calling for a hold against Franklin.
Rebels did not turn the football over. Chilly 76 degrees and cloudy here in Udawa. So they'll accept that hold. It'll go back 10 yards. That's a spot foul. First and long, four and a half in quarter three. 76 degrees is a dramatic difference from where we were two weeks ago when it was 158. Not really, obviously, I'm kidding, but man, it was so hot. Did a high school game and a college game, both without air conditioning, and I was just miserable. I had fun, but I was miserable. Great fake on the pitch and the check down pass over the middle. He's running free across the midfield stripe, escaping a defender and dragged down on the 30-yard line of East Hamilton High School. What a catch and run. Dawson Sowers, the junior, running back, cuts back inside. His longest play of the season to this point entered tonight. Just six touches of the football, nine total yards. Player down on the back end of the play, so we'll take a break while they check on him and be back with more high school football. In just a moment, it's 27-7, East Hamilton High School. point football game. Hurricanes were on top, but a long strike a moment ago. Sowers putting the Rebels in scoring position. Here's the give right side. Jones stumbling and goes down deep in the red zone on the 16-yard line. First and 10, and they are within striking distance again, even closer now. Three and a half left in this third stanza. At the East Hamilton 16-yard line. Franklin County. Cobb and Baker are the receivers on the far side. Split out wide on the close side is Hardison. Cobb in motion. There's the give to Jones. Jones, lots of room. He's got a block from the receiver, and he's gone. His second rushing touchdown on the season. Franklin County's Rebels get a second touchdown back. It's 27 to 13. A 14 point football game with 15 minutes and 18 seconds left to play. We're still in the third quarter on top of Hurricane Hill. Here's the PAT try. Snap and hold are good. PAT delivered up away and through. And so with that, it is now 27-14. What a drive and what a score for the Rebels of Franklin County. We'll take a short break. Be back with more high school football in just a moment.
Welcome back to the campus of East Hamilton High School. Kickoff here to the Hurricanes. Return man tries to punch it up inside. Not really going anywhere. 312 left in quarter three. And so the Hurricanes leading 27-14 will send their offense back onto the field after stalling out moments ago. Taking a look back at our scoring we've seen here in tonight's game. All started back in quarter number one. A kick return for a touchdown for Kyrie's Willis went 90 yards to the house to start tonight's game. East Hamilton extended their lead to 14-0 later on in that quarter. The 451 mark, a 90-yard touchdown pass to Von Zell Hinton. Hinton scored again on another touchdown at the 235 mark, a 40-yard passing touchdown. A rushing touchdown for Jones put Franklin back in the game, at least to some degree. It was followed up by a passing touchdown again to Hinton from close range for East Hamilton. Jones just answered moments ago and put us where we are now. This is Crawford rolling close side. Crawford is just going to throw this away. It'll go second and ten. East Hamilton suffers the holding penalty. And so they'll be backed way up deep in their own territory. They started this drive with the 22. It's a spot foul. I'd assume that hold was right near the line of scrimmage. It should be from about the 12. First and very long for East Hamilton. Crawford. Two receivers stacked on the close side. Here's the snap. He wants to throw. He's got the long ball over the middle, and it's incomplete. Through the hands of his intended receiver. Delivery was on the money and just couldn't quite hook up. That goes incomplete. It's second and forever. Chattanooga's a little closer than the first down marker for East Hamilton right now. Under three to go in this third quarter. If there's a team that's all about a challenge offensively, it's these Hurricanes, though. They're built, predicated on offense, starting right at the top. Aaron Nance, he's an offensive guy. Crawford distributes this again to the close side, and it's incomplete. This time, he overshot his target. Boy, and Kyrie Willis burned the defensive back. He just couldn't quite get under the football. Third down, the distance to go is the walk to the principal's office after you get in trouble. It's a very long walk. 2.54 in quarter three. 13 point football game, trips left, that's the close side. False start. Flags, fly, canes. Still third down. Backed up deep on their own end of the field. So the football will go from the 12 to the seven yard line. They lead by 13, they're 93 yards from the end zone. 25 yards from moving the sticks and getting a fresh set of downs. It's basically convert here or punt. Crawford, check down, close side, Hinton makes one man miss. He's going to take it all the way around, running in a horseshoe shape. Makes a defender miss back there, still shaking and baking, and he's tackled after a short gain for East Hamilton. Hurricanes are going to punt the football back to Franklin County. And so just like that, Franklin County and the Rebels go to the locker room, they get in front of a whiteboard, and they say, what can we do? to flip the script in this second half. It started with that six minute possession of the football. They scored just one touchdown. Now they're about to get the football back in decent field position and it feels like a game again. A little bit of play design. 
A little bit of stick to itiveness. Ethan Hickson, lauded punter for East Hamilton, showing off the leg strength to the far sideline, and it makes the situation a bit more manageable for a defense that in previous years has been one of the very best in the state of Tennessee. Already by far the best game offensively of the season for the Rebels. Starting this drive in excellent field position on the 44 yard line of East Hamilton. East Hamilton has allowed 44 points in total in their first two games. Including tonight that's 58 total points. That's an average of 22 points a game. They currently have 27. There's a little less than 14 minutes left to play. Here's the give to Cobb on the end around. He's going to get about five there, at least four on forward progress as he's tackled by Michael Hinton. Pass to Willie Cobb, gain of about three yards, stopped on the play by Michael Hinton. They'll bring up second and seven for the Rebels. Second and long. Cobb in motion. There's the give, tailback, lots of room. He's going for a jaunt to the end zone. Touchdown, Franklin County. Less than one to go in quarter three. We have a football game on our hands in Ottawa. It's a seven point game, 27-20. The Rebels are seeking their first win of the year. They're 0-2. Hurricanes are 1-1. Dropped a tough one last week by just five points. They block her away, the PAT. It'll remain a seven-point football game, 27-20. Don't go anywhere. We'll have more high school football in just moments here at East Hamilton High School. Larry Henry Stadium, a great turnout tonight. They're about to get the football back and get to work offensively following a long rushing score for Jones. His third of the night, his third rushing touchdown of the season. Hurricanes have stalled out on offense two drives in a row. We'll see what they can do this time late in quarter three. Return man steps out far side. That's where the offense of East Hamilton will take over with 51 seconds left to go in this frame. Grayson Maddox on the return. Just the ball out to about the 20 yard line. Excuse me, 23 yard line where the Hurricanes will take over first and 10. Jones, touchdown number three, back-to-back -back rushing touchdowns for Franklin County. They scored at the 318 mark of quarter three and at the 58-second mark 
East Hamilton has not scored since the first half. Here's the offense of the Hurricanes. Entering tonight, they'd scored 63 points, averaging nearly 22 per game. And flag there. Flag on the play. First start against the Hurricanes. Final East Hamilton penalty. jumped. I, I thought that was going to be a procedural penalty because of the motion in the backfield. I think a receiver may have jumped on the close side. 27-20, East Hamilton takes another ding from a penalty. Now they need 15 yards to move the chains. Football is back on their own 17-yard line. In total, the Hurricanes have scored 90 points this season, including their 27 tonight. 30 per game if it ended right now. Far side, Crawford battling to stay near the line of scrimmage, nearly runs down the official. And so that'll bring up third and long. Or excuse me, second and long. I got fooled by the sticks after the penalty. Come on, sticks, guys. So he gets a yard back. They need 14 to move the chains with just over 40 seconds to go in this third quarter. Three receivers, two on the far side. One option on the close side for Crawford. Very likely to pass here and he will. Here's a bomb dropped down the field. I'm not sure if he overshot his intended target or purposely threw it away. Either way, it's third and 14 from the 17 of East Hamilton. Hurricanes, 35 seconds in quarter three. They lead by seven in Larry Henry Stadium. Thank you for joining us for tonight's edition of TSS Double A Action. Two receivers close side. Man into motion is Willis. Crawford wants to throw. Pocket is collapsing. This one is picked off. Far side. Rebels get the big time turnover. That is a big play right there. It's Willie Cobb, the senior. Five foot seven, 130 pounds. Coming into tonight, his only stats this season through two games were two tackles. That interception put a gold star by that. Franklin County, two consecutive touchdowns. The Hurricanes have not scored in the second half. We're just seconds away from quarter number four. First to 10, football on the 27. In the shotgun, there's the give to Jones, and he's dropped after a gain of about five. It's second and medium. Michael Hinton makes the stop in the tackle, got some help. Defensive lineman got a hand on him, started to slow him down. Hinton greets him keeps him from going any further and the Rebels are just going to let time expire on quarter number three. Maybe not. They're going to the line but there's only two seconds left and so we go to the final quarter of action in a seven point football game where the Rebels of Franklin County are driving. Can the Hurricanes pump the brakes? Will the Rebels punch it in and tie it up? We'll find out next. Don't go anywhere.
Back here on the campus of East Hamilton High School, the officials have taken a timeout. It's a seven-point football game, 27-20. Only two touchdowns in the second half to this point, both scored by Franklin County, both in the last four minutes of game time. East Hamilton's offense has struggled the last three times out. And the Rebels have a chance to tie up the football game here entering this final quarter. They've got great field position. Second and six from the 24-yard line of East Hamilton High School. Taking a quick look around the area, if I could sneak one in. Whit Muschamp just tossed a touchdown. Baylor School leading Archbishop 30 to 13. Hickson won 21-16, a thrilling victory for them and the Wildcats. Here we go, check down pass, far side. Tailback, trying to make the defender miss. He's upended, but he moves the chains. Into the red zone. First and 10 from about the 15, maybe the 14. Rebels, back onto the field quickly. That only burns six seconds. This drive in total at the moment, less than one minute. Total time of possession is 59 seconds before the snap. There's the give, Jones right up the middle and he's gone. Another house call, he scored all four touchdowns rushing the football. Entering tonight, they had not scored a rushing touchdown in their first two games. Jones has all four. Three in a row. For the running back of the Rebels, Eric Jones, the senior, he had just carried the football 25 times for 59 yards entering this game. He had two receiving touchdowns, which is something, but nothing like four rushing touchdowns. The PAT is good as well, and so we're all tied up with just 10 seconds gone in the last quarter to play here at East Hamilton High School. We'll be back with it. Don't go anywhere. Stadium, where we have a football game on our hands. I don't want to give all the credit to Eric Jones, but he has four rushing touchdowns. More touchdowns tonight than the Rebels scored in their first two games. Penalty flag on the play on the kickoff. Rebels will kick again. The last time the Hurricanes of East Hamilton scored was at the 4.55 mark of the second quarter. It was a four-yard touchdown pass. Crawford slung it. Fonzell Hinton, he found the end zone. And that extended the lead of the Hurricanes. At the time, it was 27-7. They took that to the locker room. Franklin County comes out. They had a six minute long possession that did not score. Turned the football over, got it back. Drove it down, punched it in from 16 yards out on a rushing play. It was the second touchdown of the game for Eric Jones. They got the football right back. Just three minutes later, they scored again at the 58 second mark of quarter three. That was a 30 yard rushing touchdown for Eric Jones and he just scored again Seconds ago, 
to get us to a tie football game. Kick return back down to the 27 yard line. Here comes the offense of East Hamilton High School. This will be the most space this offense has had to work with in a while. They've kind of been cramped up, pushed back up against the end zone. Their last few chances at the football. Penalty after penalty made it even more difficult. The yard to gain line was so far down the field. Running the football wasn't an option at all. This time it's trips close side. Crawford calls Willis into motion. He's gonna hand the football off to Hinton who takes it off the hip of the right tackle. Going off that outside hip of the right tackle and he is slung to the ground by Zalen Smith. Smith has been in on a whole host of tackles both tonight and throughout the course of the season. Forty seconds gone in quarter four. East Hamilton second and a little more than seven. I might be right on the nose seven. Two receivers on the top of your screen, one close side. Hinton with the football, makes one man miss and trying to stiff arm away the defender. He's dragged down to Mike Dawson Sowers, really the one who's able to get a hold of his legs and keep him from pumping away. That'll make it third and very short. Maybe a yard, a little less for East Hamilton. They've had the football for more than 60 seconds now offensively. And running the fake, Crawford is repealed away from the line. Stopped up inside, tried to sneak the football. He rushed up to the line, tried to jam it up in there, and he was turned away right away. He'll lose two yards, and it'll bring up fourth down. That's a great play by the senior. That's exactly what you expect from an experienced defender like that. Deshaun Reynolds saw that sneak coming, came up to the line, greeted him right there, stopped him from getting any gain, a loss of two. It's fourth and three. East Hamilton's going for it. East Hamilton fakes the give, check down pass over the middle, swatted away, turnover on downs. The Rebels of Franklin County take over with the football at the 30-yard line of East Hamilton, 35-yard line of the Hurricanes. First and 10 Rebels. Canes, one of their longest possessions of the second half, if not the longest. Two minutes and four seconds for the football. We're all tied up at 27 in Ottawa, Tennessee. Franklin County's Rebels. There's one man who can score for them tonight. It's Eric Jones. He has all four touchdowns. They're all rushing touchdowns. He's blocking on this play. Long ball, far side, diving for the pylon, and he's in. Quarterback heard me talking about those rushing touchdowns. What a score. Baker gets a hold of the football, dives to the pylon, and finds the end zone from 35 yards out. It's a Rebel touchdown, and it makes it 33-27 with nine and a half left on the clock. Now for the point after try. Snap is good, hold is good, PAT sent up away and this one is through. And so it's 34-27, a seven point football game on top of Hurricane Hill. We'll break and be back with more high school football in just a moment.
Welcome back to East Hamilton High School. It's 34-27. The Rebels of Franklin County are leading the Hurricanes. East Hamilton will get the football back. They've yet to score in this second half. Return, man, cutting it up the middle. Oh, what a move across the 30. Now the 40. He's running out of steam and tackled down just shy of the midfield stripe. It's Kyrie Willis. And Willis opened tonight's game with a 90-yard return for a touchdown. That's the electricity he brings to the engine of East Hamilton High School's football program. Officials put the football right on the midfield stripe. Trailing by seven. Here comes the offense of East Hamilton. Crawford from the shotgun. Rainbow ball, close side, caught! Oh, he stays on his feet! Touchdown, East Hamilton High School! 34-33 with 9.16 left in the game. Oh, baby! I didn't see a flag on the play, but there must have been one. The officials are convened on the edge of the end zone, and the offense of East Hamilton coming back. Call is pass interference. Play will stand. Wow. 50-yard passing touchdown for Crawford, and in just incredible fashion. Now for the point after try. Trailing by just one. The response to that touchdown a moment ago by Franklin County came 19 seconds later. A 50 yard touchdown strike. Penalty here against Franklin County. Now for the point after try. And an official timeout. Well, I'm gonna see if we can sneak some time checking scores while these guys are convening. What we got here? JCS leading 21-20. Eagles up, ball game. Bradley Central just took down Maryville. Final score, 21-13. Buford football just scored against North Cobb. It's 31-21 in that one. North Murray overcomes Ridgeland, 36-28. Nope, that's a lie. There's four minutes left in the third quarter of that game. Briarcrest just forced Lipscomb to punt. 35-7. That's a pretty crazy upset in the works.
Point after try. Hurricanes for the point after try. Thirty-four, thirty-three. Hurricanes on for the point after try. Dead ball foul against Franklin County again. East Hamilton for the point after try. Snap is good. Hold is good. PAT ties the football game. Nine minutes left to go. We'll take a break. Tie game. Don't turn it off. Don't look away. Here on top of Hurricane Hill in a tie football game. 9-16 on the clock in Ottawa, Tennessee. East Hamilton just took it down the field, punched it in. A 50-yard passing touchdown. Crawford delivered that football. And it was just perfect. Now they'll kick it back to the Rebels of Franklin County who have a chance to get back on top. Ethan Hickson kicks the touchback. Public address announcer having a little fun with that one, saying it's good. Two minutes and 44 seconds of the final quarter have been played. out wide there's two on the top of your screen Cobb is in motion there's the give tailback throws the stiff arm this time he's tackled down near the line of scrimmage flag hold on the rebels Going to remain first down. That's a spot foul. Football is on the 10 yard line of Franklin County. Baker and Cobb on the close side. Tailback is deep behind the quarterback. Signal caller fakes the toss. Pass over the middle is incomplete. Defensive back right in on that one, diving after it. And I'm not sure if he was trying to swat the ball away or if he was trying to catch that himself. Great physicality from Grayson Maddox tonight, the free safety, the sophomore. He was the one there defensively. Make sure that football is uncatchable. Franklin County's offense. The most productive night of their season. 
This will set a positive benchmark as they head into week four for sure. Their average is way up after tonight. 34-34. This drive less than 40 seconds at the moment. Tipped away, batted down by the defensive back of the Canes. Long yardage situation. Hinton batted that down. He's got a handful of tackles throughout the course of the season, including tonight. He's at 10 total on the year. One tackle for loss. Really what he's been doing is racking up the touchdowns. Tonight he has just been a machine scoring the football. Three receivers on the field on third down. There's the give, tail back far side, right tackle gets him about two yards. It's fourth and long for the Rebels. Jones on the carry, tackle on the play by Zane Livick. And bring up the fourth down for the Rebels. Senior Zane Liffick. Handful of tackles tonight. 12 in the first two games of the hurricane season. Made a number of tackles for loss already. Not even finished with the third game of the season. Snaps low. Skitters bounces and hops into the hands of the punter. He gets it away. Takes a very rebel friendly bounce and roll down to the 45 of East Hamilton. And that's where they'll start this next possession. Just under eight minutes left to go in the football game here inside of Larry Henry Stadium. We'll get another look at the offense of East Hamilton. And I'll, I'll touch on what's next to come for the Hurricanes at the end of tonight. But real quick, a look ahead. A win against Hickson, 40 to 16 in week one. A loss 28-23 last week to Heritage. Next week, it's McMinn Central. They'll be here. Be sure to join us in person. District play starts on the 15th against Eastridge. Then a road game on the 22nd. First play of the drive offensively for East Hamilton. This is Crawford. He threw a 50-yard touchdown strike last time on the field. Here is a 15-yard strike to Willis, who goes down. Kyrese Willis goes down hard. Football popped out at the end of that play. Crawford's pass complete to Willis. Going for an under-exterior's first down, Hurricanes. He's up and moving, but they're going to have to check on him. We'll take a break and be back with more high school football in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. football game in the late stages at East Hamilton High School. 34 all. Rebels, Hurricanes. Moments ago, an armor exteriors first down. Big thanks to Choo Choo Car Wash, our touchdown sponsor. Hurricanes would love to get one right here. First and ten, and the whistle and flag. Two flags. He stable to jump there, a little too anxious to get to work. A 15-yard gain on the previous play. A strike to Willis over the middle. 
Now it's first and 15. Hurricanes, Crawford gives it off and nothing doing for the tailback who's overpowered. Trying to push it up in there. Good pressure defensively. Michael Hinton cut that up off the outside hip of the right tackle. Townsend got him space for the game. Bowie with a great read defensively. Saw where he was going, came down, greeted him on the close side of the line of scrimmage. Wrapped him up and was able to drive him backwards with the help of teammates. Really a great read on that play. Willis, who came off just a moment ago and was shaken up after that 15-yard gain, is back onto the field for the Hurricanes. He's one of the receivers on the close side in the bottom of your screen. Crawford wants the long ball over the middle, nearly intercepted. In and out of the hands, Louis Arellano. He's got three tackles this season. The sophomore drops that one. And there's a flag on the play. And this one will go against the Rebels. Pass interference. Big time penalty call in favor of East Hamilton. Six and a half left in the game. They're tied up at 34. High-flying offensive show here inside of Larry Henry Stadium. Battle continues late. Bonzel Hinton, the close receiver. Willis in the slot on the close side. Crawford wants to throw to him again. Long ball caught, he's wide open. Steps out, the edge of the red zone. Makes it first and 10 on the 12 yard line. <laughs> 16 yard line, excuse me. Getting old. First and 10. Three receivers, same set. This time it's Mike Hinton who takes the football inside. Great block up front. The center, Gilbert, turns the defensive lineman to his left. Andrew Wright, the right guard. Good choice by coach, putting the right guard. Last name Wright. Turns the defender to the right, his right. And it creates a little hole for Mike Hinton to push through and he knifes his way up in there. Puts a helmet on a helmet, runs down a defender, and that's a gain of four. And makes it second and medium for East Hamilton. Three receivers again. They've shifted them around. Two on the close side. Faking the give. It's a keeper for Crawford. Makes the defender miss. Free for the end zone. Touchdown, East Hamilton High School. The rushing score for the signal caller. And a flag following the score. Trey Crawford, the sophomore. 70 rushes on 11 carries this season, entering tonight. That's a 13-yard rushing touchdown if it stands. We'll see what the call is. Well, I'm assuming you heard the public address announcer. Hurricanes celebrate just a little too much for the officials. Deliverers have elected to enforce the penalty on the succeeding kickoff. Nathan Hickson in for the Choo Choo Car Wash Extra Point. Snap is good, hold is good, PAT up away. This one is good. The Choo Choo Car Wash Extra Point. 
Makes it a 41-34 football game. 5.42 left to go on the clock. Don't go anywhere. We'll return momentarily. tight game and it probably will be a tight game it's 41 34 542 left to go in regulation exchanging brutal body blows back and forth between these two football teams and east hamilton is in the lead at home as they will kick this back to the rebels of franklin county and we'll see what they can do with the football offensively Jones wants to work with the football. This is Eric Jones. He has four rushing touchdowns tonight. And this time he just goes down. Tried to center up the ball and push it up in there. Tackled down right on the 20. Forty-one thirty-four, five and a half left in the game. There's the give, tailback, pushes his way up inside. A gain of four, second and medium. Jones on the carry, tackled by Isaac Ross and Michael Hinton. Gain of about five yards, it'll bring up second and five for the Rebels. Forty-one thirty-four. It was all tied up just moments ago between these two football teams. East Hamilton with back-to-back -back scores. Jones wants to snap that streak as he heads far side for a gain of 15. Run down on the back by a defensive back. East Hamilton scored at the 4.55 mark of quarter two. Went into the halftime break with a 27-7 lead. And then Franklin County ripped off three, four consecutive touchdowns in a row. Unstoppable seeming. Tied the football game at the 11.50 mark of quarter four. Took the lead, and the Hurricanes tied it, got the football back, and took the lead. 41-34 right now as that one falls incomplete. Four minutes left to go in the football game. Strange amount of time left on the clock here. I'll steal just a moment from you and look ahead at the schedule of Franklin County, if we can swing it. Week 1, a 10-7 loss to Coffee County, then South Pittsburgh in Week 2, 28-14. Next week, they're at Tullahoma, then at Moore County and hosting Shelbyville Central three weeks out. That's what's coming up. 
for the Rebels. Here's the give, right side, following the center and right guard. Jones spins and makes it third and medium. And again, running the football, and as the clock winds, it's a very significant factor on how both of these teams are going to handle the time that remains. With 3.42 showing on the clock, third medium trailing by a touchdown, Franklin County's Rebels with the football. They really need a conversion here. They need that time to drive. Seals close, side picked off. East Hamilton High School. Hurricane Zane Liffick up the sideline across the 20 and pushed out deep in the red zone near the 10. What a play by the senior. And that's just a great read. Saw that pass coming, saw the placement in position, gets a hold of the football, and not only does he create the turnover way back on the other side of the midfield stripe, he returns it for about 50 yards. And East Hamilton in scoring position if they keep the football. There is a flag back near the 30-yard line. Three thirteen showing on the clock in a seven-point football game. East Hamilton has the lead. Baker slow to rise for the Rebels. He's up and walking off under his own power, so he appears to be all right. And so that block in the back happened down on the 33-yard line of the Rebels. They'll move the football back beyond the 40 of Franklin County, and that's where the offense of East Hamilton will take over. Three minutes, 13 seconds. Not a tall order to salt away for this offense. We'll see if that's the route they take or if they try and score the football. Central Chargers overcome Polk County 26-21. Walker Valley overcomes Cleveland 20-14. Zeke Garrison with an interception to seal that. First and 10, Crawford on the keeper. Had a 13-yard rushing touchdown last time he was on the field. This time he gets seven. Second and short as we eclipse three minutes to play. Two fun brands of football under Nance and Hayworth certainly makes for high blood pressure and sweaty brows. Hurricane, second and medium. Crawford, keeper, close side. That's the same play he scored the touchdown on. Now he'll take a knee shy of the 25. That's enough to move the chains on a 12-yard gain. Briarcrest leading Lipscomb 42-12. Lipscomb one of the very best teams in the state. One of the top 100 teams in the country before the season started. Two receivers on the top of your screen. One man isolated on the bottom as the tailback takes it himself. Runs over the linebacker and stays on his feet as he's hampered and dragged down in the red zone. Timeout taken on the field by the Rebels of Franklin County. 141 showing on the clock. East Hamilton's offense looking to seal this up. They had scored 63 points on the season. 
entering tonight's game. Now 104 total points scored. We'll take a break and be back with more high school football in just a moment. Forty-one left in the ball game. Rebels just burned a timeout before the break. They trail by seven. East Hamilton with a football. Driving slowly and they're looking to seal this up. Sail away with a win. 104 points scored in their season. 41 of them tonight. A big outing for the offense who has kept them in this football game. There's the give up the gut and the tailback. Just indomitable. Moving the chains. First and 10 from the 13 yard line, 14 yard line. 96 seconds left to kill for East Hamilton. Timeout down on the field. What's coming up next for East Hamilton? I'll give you this now and save it. Post game, we won't even talk about this. 91 seconds left to go. East Hamilton, week one, a big win over Hickson, 40 to 16. A loss to Heritage last week, and that was a tight one, a five-point football game, 28-23 the final. Tonight, right now, it's 41-34 with 91 seconds left to go. Next week, you can be here with us. Get your tickets now online, McMinn County. That's September 8th here at Larry Henry Stadium. And another home game against Eastridge to open district play on September 15th. Hitting the road on the 22nd is Howard Tech, then visiting Ottawa and the Owls. That'll be a fun one. Walker Valley here inside of Larry Henry on October 6th. Then a week off in Sevier County on the 20th of October. Finally closing the season by hosting Ray County on October 28th. And the TWS AA playoffs start on November 4th. Coming up next for the Rebels of Franklin County. After this week, they'll travel to Tullahoma, then Moore County, and on the 22nd of November, hosting Shelbyville Central. Three out wide, too far side after the timeout. There's the give, tailback, right up inside. We'll give him two. That might just be one. Tackle made by the end. Hybrid. Number six, Mac Roberts Sr. gets the tackle. And Franklin County takes their final timeout with 77 seconds left on the clock. Mathematically speaking, I don't think there's any way they can get the football back. If East Hamilton just runs the clock here, I think they can just take knees. One knee would leave 47 seconds. A second knee would make it fourth and long and leave seven. So they could snap the ball and just run around. But a chance to get the football back for Franklin County was seven seconds if they can keep East Hamilton from burning that time somehow. Here's the snap, give up inside, barreling forward. Not gonna take the knee, he goes down with 112 on the clock. 
at the Rebels 11 yard line. Fans, as you leave today, please be a good sport and toss your trash in the receptacles provided. And as you drive home, remember to stay safe. Buckle up Tennessee and designate before you celebrate. Because fans don't let fans drive drunk. But you know the and so it's third and seven. East Hamilton just letting that clock burn. Twenty nine point three showing. East Hamilton takes a timeout. East Hamilton there just ran as much as they could. What they did is they told the official, let the play clock run all the way to zero, and we want our timeout right before the play clock hits zero. So they got it as close as they could to the last possible second without doing anything. They didn't have to manually time 40 seconds off on the play clock. For those of you at home wondering why they did that, took that timeout, and that leaves us with 29.3 seconds. So East Hamilton, since it's third down, can just take a knee, and there's nothing Franklin County can do to stop the clock from running out. 41-34, this is, barring a miracle in favor of the Rebels, a solid East Hamilton win. Came in, scored a bunch to open that first half. Those first two quarters were like a highlight reel for the Hurricanes, and the Rebels came out and scored four consecutive touchdowns, rushing the football, looking really sharp, hadn't scored a rushing touchdown on the season coming into tonight. And it was all Eric Jones, quarter three. Big time tape for that guy, he looked great. Franklin County's Rebels are going to fall to 0 and three on the season. The Hurricanes of East Hamilton going to rise to two and one. There's the snap and the knee. Football game is in the books. Congratulations to the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School. I'll save you running back through the scoring again. Top performers, definitely Eric Jones for the Rebels. Franklin County, for East Hamilton High School, that's a toss up. Trey Crawford was pretty unbelievable. Fonsal Hinton was electric and Kyrie Willis. If I had to pick one, I'd probably pick Kyrie Willis. These guys are just having a great season. Franklin County Rebels stay on the road. They'll look to take what they learned tonight, work it into their game, improve and get a win next week. Hurricanes will look to continue their winning ways as they stay at home. Two more weeks following this. We'll see you at Larry Henry Stadium next time. Again, the final score, a victory in favor of East Hamilton High School, 41-33 for the Hurricanes. For the Rebels, Gabriel Fry saying so long from Udawa, Tennessee. This has been TWSAA football, all games and events airing on our networks are broadcast live and our copyright material. This has been a presentation of East Hamilton High School.